Warm winds will be around for tomorrow, carrying us well into the 80s, but we are watching for an afternoon storm threat. I'm thinking that the strongest storms could contain wind damage and hail, but we have a non-zero risk for a tornado in the afternoon, so we do want to watch for that. But the focus would be for areas east of I-57, right in the heat of the afternoon. But this is all tacked onto a cool front, and what a change it brings for Wednesday. 10 degrees cooler with winds coming out of the north and northeast after tomorrow's high of 88 degrees. Today we were in the upper 80s and I expect to do it again tomorrow. What I'm watching for tonight though, the tail end of this complex wants to brush southern Wisconsin. There is a chance we could see a shower or a thunderstorm in our far northern counties very early in the morning. That moves out and then the actual cold front will create a line of storms and push them into northwest Indiana as the day goes on and they die out as the sun goes down. But what a mild start. 73 degrees in Joliet, 72 in Waukegan to start the day. And then at about 3 o'clock, we're going to see those thunderstorms line up. Again, scattered activity, and it looks like it's really going to favor northwest Indiana. So you can see it's very broken, but if you get underneath one of these, it could create some very heavy rain with that damaging wind threat and the chance for some hail. Storm Prediction Center is eyeing Valparaiso, Rensselaer, Laporte for a level 2. That's on a scale of 1 to 5, but really it's the metro Detroit area that's going to see the big push of severe weather tomorrow from this system. So the front itself closes in on the Quad Cities at 7 a.m. And then in the afternoon sparks that line of rain for us in that 3 to 4 o'clock hour, moving it to Indiana, and then the clean sweep coming on the backside, pulling in that cooler air. Wanted to update you, too, on what is now Hurricane Nicholas, making very close call here to the landfall right on the uh, coast of Texas, about 20 miles away from the coast. It's a Category 1 with winds of 75 miles miles per hour. It will probably weaken to a tropical storm as it moves from Houston to Galveston early in the morning tomorrow. It stalls until at least Thursday right along the Louisiana line, a place that certainly doesn't need any more rain. Once we have our storm chance tomorrow, that cold front sweeps through one cool day and then we start heating up for the weekend, Jim, but we do stay sunny and dry for a while after tomorrow. Very good. Thank you, Mary Kay.